Hello ROS developers and welcome to a new video on how to develop with ROS. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning with just minutes of video. Hi, I'm Arif and this is part 2 of understanding ROS coordinate frames. So in part 1, we have looked at this document, Standard Units of Measure and Coordinate Conventions and we have stopped at coordinate frame conventions specifically axis orientation here we stop here we look we have looked at the uh, frame conventions for linear motion where x is forward y is left or right and z is up or down so in this part two we are going to look at rotation representation okay and we can see here that it says by the right hand rule meaning even for rotations we are going to use a right hand rule so it says the yaw component of orientation increases as the child frame rotates counterclockwise in part one we have looked at this right hand rule this is for linear motion and for rotational motion we don't do this we do this instead so the thumb points along the axis of rotation and the other four fingers uh, points towards the positive rotation direction so that means positive rotation is counterclockwise you see that counterclockwise negative rotation will be clockwise positive is counterclockwise okay okay to demonstrate this further i'm going to show you something on the ROS Development Studio. This is an online environment, uh, development environment for, for simulated ROS robots, which is really cool because everything is on your web browser. No need for installation, no need for downloads. Okay, so I have this simulation of a turtle bot. That is a turtle bot. And we are going to send some commands to it to see where it um, rotates, basically. Okay, so, we are going to to publish first topic up push one. We are going to publish to command bell because that is the topic which uh, will move the robot. Okay, so if we publish a positive Z, the robot will rotate counterclockwise as expected. Yeah. So if we publish a negative number. And a, z, and a negative z angular angular z okay it will now rotate um, clockwise all right so that confirms our coordinate frames okay what i'm going to do now is to show you that right now we are talking about motions yeah? uh, rotational motions but really it the same thing applies for uh, sensor data Okay, so I've stopped the robot and then I have this. So this is, okay, basically we have a laser scanner on top of the turtle bot. Uh, it will read, the first reading from it will be from the right side and then uh, every, uh, I don't know what was the resolution like, but it starts from the right and goes towards the left. Okay, so again that means it, it conforms to the right hand rule the reading goes counterclockwise okay so if we see that you can see that the wall is sort of on the right side of the turtle board so if we look at the readings this is the, the truncated readings out of how many hundred um, readings because of it has a it's a pretty fine resolution i've only um I've truncated them into only about 18 readings, so about 10 degrees each. So we can see that the first few readings has a value, and then it starts to go to infinity. Why? Because on the right hand side there is a wall, so you can see the wall but cannot see anything on the left side. So that was it. I hope this short explanation is beneficial for you to understand the coordinate frames of. Uh, 
being the coding frames being used in ROS. Okay. So if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. If you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. Peace out. Thank you.